Imagine Ecot's tied, dyed, and woven by hand in the oasis towns of Central Asia in the 1800s. And today, these treasured ecots are here at the Textile Museum in Washington, D.C. I'm Mary Claire Ramsey, director of the Textile Museum, and I invite you to join me on a behind-the-scenes tour of our exhibition, Colors of the Oasis, Central Asian Ecots. The story begins hundreds of years ago in Central Asia. Designers, dyers, weavers, and tailors created bold, beautiful jewel tone designs, tied thousands of threads by hand, dyed them and then wove them together to make extraordinary cloth. Fast forward to the early 21st century, when one collector who spent more than 20 years searching far and wide for these extraordinary textiles brought his collection to us here at the Textile Museum in Washington, D.C., almost 200 ecods. Over the last five years, we've studied, photographed, and conserved these ecods. Some pieces demanded up to 140 hours of preparation by our conservators. For more than a month, they painted the walls, constructed platforms, and then hung the textiles and wall labels, all so we could share them with you, our public. The result is this stunning exhibition and an extraordinary book. This publication is an important addition to textile scholarship about this unique textile tradition, with photos of all the pieces in the collection and peer-reviewed essays. This exhibit would not be possible, and this story would not be told if it weren't for the support of our members and our individual donors. As president of the Textile Museum Board of Trustees, I could not be more proud of the museum's scholarship on this important textile tradition. The Textile Museum is truly a leader in expanding awareness and appreciation of textiles as art and expressions of culture. Colors of the Oasis will be on view through March 13th. We invite you to explore this exhibition and other stories of artisans, makers, and weavers from around the world here at the Textile Museum. <laughs>